<laughs> Oops. 718 on this Monday morning. Time for this week in real estate with Bob Zador. Of course, Bob and Linda Zador, the award winning Z team. Call them at 870 405 0793. You square me away there? Just kidding. Just go. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so, how you been? Good, good. Yeah. Right? So we talked about the Trout Fest. We, we went out there. We talked to a bunch of people. We thank everybody that came by and said hi and, and watch the, whether you're watching this on TV, the radio, whatever it may be, see the ads. Um, we thank you. And, and it was just a, you could have not have had a better day. The weather was just perfect. Yeah. Uh, people just getting out of the house and enjoying the company of other people, seeing people just going up and hugging people, and oh my God, how you been? Didn't know how things were going, and you know, sorry I didn't call. Uh, just wonderful. So we figured about 3,500 people that's came through, the, which is good. a big number. You go, yeah, okay, that's a big number for Cotter Park and for the uh, stuff that was there. All the vendors had to do great. Uh, the food vendors all did good. The music was great. Just a wonderful, wonderful event. I know Mac's going to get all the credit because he's the mayor, and that's always the way it is. But, but they the were committee, here last week. Uh, yeah, right. Him and uh, uh, but Jason Nazarenko, he's the uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce. Linda McCarthy ran all the vendors yeah. and made sure they got everything done. Um, like I said, Mac did a great job. The rest of the committee, Gary Blank, they had a car show that they were projecting. Yeah, maybe we'll get 60 or so. Then they knew oh, we're at 70 because there were people coming in on the parade and stuff. There were cars parked all over underneath that bridge. And it's such a cool location up there. I yeah. mean, it, aesthetically, very, very nice. Uh, so he did a great job in that car show. I know they raised a lot of money with the duck races. And just a great <coughs> small town America, the reason that we're all here event i mean it really went very well so my hat's off to everybody who was involved in that that's good it's good yeah. good report it was, it was. Success. i wanted to make it out there and I, I just couldn't get out there i had so much going on but i was able to log into the z team live cam and see everything that was going on it's pretty cool to see yeah. everything in a bigger picture it's yeah just yeah and you see all the cool. colors and everything yeah. all the different trailers and people got things set up yeah that was good that neat. was a good idea that was a good idea it's good but it was very it's, very it's good, good to see just, you know and even in Murfreesboro, the, the weather was excellent. I was thinking, boy, it's going to be great. Can you imagine? I thought, you know, I'm knee deep to my elbows yeah. in, a, in an engine. And you're out there by the White River. There you go. Yeah. I mean, yeah. see? And I saw the pictures that y'all were posting. I thought, man, it's a gorgeous day yeah. on the river. Yeah, yeah. Linda and I took a bunch of video and stills and stuff. And uh, so they're on our site and around the Cotter uh, website, too. So. So, but it was a great event. Thanks to everybody who came out in, in whatever respect, whether you stopped by had us a, or you not. You had like your awning type. Yeah. Tent, yeah. And how many vendors so that's not really there were, yeah there were, well there were over 70 vendors and there were at least 10 food vendors good so good. i mean it was there was a lot of there was a lot of people there there was, and what was who's the beneficiaries of the fund what was it the, i know that they these there's the um a, i know but i can't remember a, a kids a youth center in cotter yeah yeah and uh, i know that they were the beneficiary for a big part of it yeah and um yeah mark cap shandy at first Security's mark exactly mark big, does it yeah really exactly he's that. real big with that and, and see in fact the former st louis cardinal manager whitey herzog gave them gave some them property some of the, yeah, several exactly. years ago yes he did yes he did yeah we yeah. had him here for an event yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and the bands were great and it was just a just really a great deal that's a good report yeah 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 that, just kicks off Monday really well, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> well, it makes you feel good, you know. I mean, it's, uh, that's what that's what you want. So we were very we we're very happy. Happy, you like bet. I said, it's always good to go out and meet people and and talk to people, and they go, "Oh, I didn't know you looked like that," or "I didn't know you sounded like you know different things they see in a different uh, a different light when you're sitting there." So we get some chairs and some table and passed out some uh, some swag that we had, and um, it was it worked out there good. You go. that's worked great. out good. Good yeah. report. Yeah. you bet. And then we get back and just kept right on going. Linda was sitting there. I'm talking to people, and, and she's sitting there working, trying, trying to get stuff together and trying to get uh, agents and clients together to get things done. It never uh, Some stops. people came up. No, it didn't. A but, couple came know, up, and no, they, you know, they're no, looking we, to sell and looking to buy something else. So. But that's the difference of being a, a top-notch real estate person. All we, I mean, you don't – yeah, you had fun. And you oh, were, yeah. but you were having fun, enjoying the weather and everything else, but you're still working. Sure. Helping people out. That's what That's we do. It. Yeah. We're sitting there last night. My phone goes off. I want to put, I want to see this house. Okay. Like now? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know the guy well enough. Yeah. 
Well, it, maybe it'll wait till tomorrow. Yeah, okay, the answer will. Uh, so we're, we're back and forth a little bit. I, I, he said, well, maybe we'll write an offer now just in case. I says, nothing is going to happen between now and tomorrow morning. Believe me, <laughs> it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday night. Yeah. So, but and it turns out that the house is under contract. So already, they, they went under on Saturday. Um, things move right along. You know, it's uh, in int interesting times. So interest rates are still great. Uh, people in the banks are still good and they're you know they're not just giving money away which is the good thing people talk about housing bubbles we I've been reading more articles about that uh, it's not the same as it was in 06 and 07 because the banks then um, the banks Even and all these though. all these mortgage companies that were involved yeah. in all of that uh, making the sausage of taking these bad loans and they knew they were bad loans but they wanted to get them done because they make they were making their money on the front, at the closing table, the finance company was getting paid. Then they would sell the mortgage to somebody else. Well, the fact that this guy couldn't make the payment didn't matter because they already had their money, and that was just a really bad situation. So Dodd-Frank uh, was put in place, and that changed the way the banks loan money, and it was a great thing because there's a number of people who got hurt really, really bad right. in that deal. I mean, and then the rest of the economy obviously fell along with it. Uh, but we're not in that situation. The banks are much better with making sure that you can actually buy what you're trying to buy. That's the whole purpose of getting pre-approved and being ready to buy if you are thinking about that. Whether you're coming, whether you're staying here and you're looking for something else or you're going to be going someplace else, get pre-approved so that, and, and get pre-approved in the market that you're in. If you're thinking of moving to Massachusetts, contact the bank in Massachusetts because that's where you're going to live. So you're going to be opening up a checking account, a savings account, whatever direct deposit account there. You're not going to keep the bank here. So, and because and, we get the same thing with people coming here. They, they, well, I'm going to use my credit union. Your credit union is not going to loan you money to buy, a bank, to buy a house in Arkansas. So local banks, local banks, love my local banks. And... Uh, they were out there sponsoring, you know, events yesterday. We, in fact, we had uh, First Security was next to us on Saturday, and they had hot dogs and water. It's like, man, they didn't have to bring lunch. I had just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, and yeah. they gave out, I don't know how many hundreds of hot dogs they gave out and bottles sure. of water, you know. But, but again, those are you, the, the local businesses here, small businesses that were there to, to help make the event successful and to put a good shine on people's face when uh when they were while they were there and, and the local business are just so important for that it was ragball baseball things that went on and those were all sponsored and were they sponsored by they're sponsored by local businesses so enough but the real estate end of things is it's still busy i mean it okay, just what's changed between 2017 we were me and you and we we're all still doing radio yeah. at the time there was a thousand and fifteen homes in the mls Good, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. The re we haven't done the report well, yet. We're just but barely over 100. I mean, what happened? Well, well the economy started rolling. As the, was the, when the tax laws changed and the economy started to get rolling, people were like, oh, I got more money in my pocket. Let's go see what we can do. We're tired of living with, in mom's basement. You know, We want to start to have a family. It, more people were working. As soon as more people start to work, the economy's picking up. More people start to have sure. babies. Well, now you realize that the studio apartment you were living in isn't going to be big enough. We need a house now. So that was started to really get the ball rolling. And, and 18 was okay. 19 was a good year. Going forward, then COVID hit. Nobody knew what was going to happen. But the rates were so low as that happened to get the economy moving again. When the, with the rates being that low, people that were working were able to, and a lot of people were working. I mean, there's people that got laid off and in, in in, are unemployed, and I understand that. Not if, not, but it wasn't the whole country. Those that were working and were able to do something, those that were working from home, realized that I don't have to be here in this apartment. We're going to, let's start looking at houses. They started to look at houses. People were afraid to let people into their houses. So there wasn't as much inventory in a lot of these places for people to buy. Well, as you do that, that pushes supply and demand. That starts to push the prices up. And as the prices were going up, 
then people start there, there was a there's a little it's almost like a panic buying that goes on with the toilet paper and stuff oh my god i better buy this and it just sucked all those houses back out mm. so you had low inventory and low interest rates people with money and people wanting to spend that money to better their life to be able to raise their kids in a different place to in a better place we had a couple that we were out for with the other day good clients great friends and we, I, I, their son was at dinner with us and i asked him i says well how's school oh it's great it's i mean they're so happy to be in school as opposed to spending last year out of school and yep. and not having any friends and not you know having a friend on here isn't a real thing yeah you know you can't to be do able with that. you can't I mean, you know and, well you can't talk and you can't you know you, little secret stuff and it just friendships that that develop you, they couldn't do that they're here things going okay oh it's great it's i mean you know and they get a kid tell you that that they like school and, and that things are going very well love the teachers love the atmosphere just wonderful to be here and and wow. people were looking for that smaller area throwing a little civil unrest yep and you've got the perfect match for here. People wanting to get out of the cities, to get out, away from the goofy governors and goofy mayors that had them just so imprisoned in, in their mm -hmm. places as, as they see it. And that's what it was. And so that's what pushed the houses that were here. And people that are here, some of them that would have normally, in the course of a year, would have left because they were gonna to move to Arizona, to Florida, whatever it was, gonna move back with the kids. Well, they couldn't because they couldn't get there because the kids were under quarantine. They weren't going to go to quarantine, so they never they didn't leave the house. You're finding that they're fixing the houses up and staying here as well. So yep. there's 129, I think it is, listings up there right now. Uh, that's nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, the way we are now, that's like a three-week inventory. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at those numbers real quick. This week in real estate. There were 50 new listings came on, five commercial properties, 18 parcels of land, 27 homes came on the market. They came on in a range from 949,000 to 56,000. And of those 27 homes, 10 of them, actually now I know because I just checked on one, 11 of those at least are under contract. The average price coming on the market is, was $257,000. There were 37 properties sold, 11 parcels of land, 26 homes sold last week. They sold in a range from 425,000 to 12,000. Average sale price was 149 with 54 days on market. I mean, that's a month that, and two weeks. That's like everything that came up was gone. That's nothing. But 3.8 million in residential real estate closed. 14 properties expired, 19 had price changes. There's 161 pendings. So, I mean, there's more pending than there is still there, and people are still coming. I mean, we've talked to a number of people that, are, that had just moved here. We talked about it in church yesterday. You know, yeah. the father talking about, he goes out and he meets people, and they come in, oh, where are you from? Where are you visiting from? Oh, we just moved here from Kenosha. We just moved here from Dubuque, you know. Yeah. So. Good, good. People are here. Yeah. Currently, we're at 129 homes that are listed on the MLS which is, like I say, that's the way this is. It's only a couple of weeks. Year to date, there's been 319 homes have sold for $58 million. Average time on market this year is 91 days. Average sale price is 181. Last year, there had been 303 homes that sold for 47.4 million with 147 days on market. And that was a good, I mean, we were coming out of 19 into 20. I mean, we were moving right along. Average sale price last year was one fifty six, so wow. it's um, wow. it's busy. But you need, you know, you think, well, we can just go and buy something. Please don't do that because we're seeing people that are caught up in deals that they really shouldn't have gotten caught up on. Can they get upside down real quick? You can. Well, yeah, because you don't know. I mean, the guy said, oh, the guy said it was worth this much, and you've got a little more money mm -hmm. coming in from other places because you sold your property. That doesn't mean you should spend it all because you're never going to get that back. Yeah. Yeah. It'll settle down a little bit. But you want to make sure that, you know, for your inspections and, and just all the things that go into making sure that you're a successful buyer and a successful seller. 
you want it to go well for you on both sides. And um, I can't overstress that. My honey is great at getting all this stuff set up, the chief uh, spinner of plates. And uh, that's, believe me, the, the days, most days, <laughs> that's what it is, keeping those plates spinning. Phone number, location. Phone number, give my honey a call. She's at 870-405-0793. And check out the website, retiretoarkansas.net. And um, let the Z team help you. Between the five of us, we can get it done. For all your real estate needs, the Z team. And uh, congratulations on all the awards, outstanding customer service yeah. before and after the sale. And it matters. It, yes, it does. Yes, it does. All customer right. service is, the, is king. Okay. Coming up, Missing Monday, right after this. Be right back. <laughs> 